I'm David Lord, uh, 12 volt modified here at Paris uh, Raceway, uh, running IMCA here. Um, this car right here is a one year old Hoffman race car. Um, actually, it's a Dirtworks Hoffman. He's worked for Dirtworks back when he was a kid and uh, started Dirtworks back up. So it's, it's a newer car. Um, so, a little bit about the car I got a picture in here on the side. Um, Tom Malloy, great, great uh, sponsor and supporter of racing. Um, supports every spring car I know, every driver. A little bit about the car, uh, we threw a quick change in it this year. Uh, take away a little bit of horsepower, but make it a little easier on the crew, changing some gears when we run different tracks. Um, typical race car, nothing really special about it. Um, IMCA, small cockpit, um, nothing really out of the ordinary. Biggest thing with these cars is uh, safety. Uh, we bounce around pretty good. Good safe seats, seat belts in these cars. So can you go over the gauges? Uh, on the gauges, real simple gauges here. Kind of nice setup with curve. We got the oil pressure, save the motor. Um, I got the water temp, fuel pressure, we're running methanol in these cars, and a tachometer. I got up here, I got a, a pressure um, light for the radiator in case we blow a radiator hose. We know that we lose the water before we burn the motor up. Our on and off switch, and then uh, one of my mentors, one of my heroes, uh, Dan Geiger there, used to rent for Mark Allison and uh, taught me a lot about modified about 15 years ago, so a memory of them. Um, one of the things here we have too is we have a Parker pumper, a pumper, fresh air. It actually comes into our helmet through the back of this helmet and it actually runs up in and if I get this thing open, it blows air right up your face so we don't fog up the visors. Um, one of the newer things came from off-road racing, keep the dust out of your eyes. Uh, we're having a lot of problems, you know, we used to run uh, Victorville and get a lot of the dust. Santa Maria, the fog comes in, you get the fog in your face, and uh, that really helps. Also, it's nice to have a little bit of breeze on your face. Uh, these cars, I've driven asphalt modifieds, um, some asphalt stuff, street stocks, uh, a little bit of everything. And uh, these cars are by far the hardest to drive and the most erratic to drive. Uh, these little eight inch tires that are spec tire, doesn't matter how much horsepower you have if you can't hook them up. So you'll see these cars are all over the place. <laughs> A lot of guys get in these cars and uh, don't get back in them. Uh, a lot of late model guys, they're, they're definitely a breed in their own. Uh, a lot of adjustments, so you have to really know what's going on. In this class, because we did go IMCA, we do have a motor claim this year. Um, this is basically a stock 400. Um, it's, we call it my junkyard motor. It's got some decent heads on it. And the way that works is you can be claimed when this open motor. Um, it's $525, $25 going to the tow truck and 500 to the guy whoever's getting claimed and i can also turn down that money and claim his motor back I'd like a trade it's happened to me before i gave up my motor um it's just part of the game uh a year later the guy sold me back my motor said it was all junk and uh, i beat him with stock parts and he couldn't believe it so that's kind of the imca side is trying to keep the money out of the deal or the the money out of the motors um it, i like it um as long as it isn't used vindictively but it's a great tool. Like I said, stock motor. This short block cost me 800 bucks. Last ran at Riverside Raceway. Bought it well, let me ask Bowl. you this. Anybody can come up and say, I want your motor. Uh, the way it works, you gotta, uh, I believe, uh, it's been a while. You gotta run the last two races at the track, I believe, or the last race at the track. You gotta finish on the, the lead lap, and it's the top four. Um, they also have a shot clean, but realistically, it doesn't really happen off often. Um, if the guy's really tearing up everyone, you get a lot of threats, you know, and it's kind of a way we kind of patrol our own. It also scares some people, but now uh, IMC is actually going with a uh, claim motor, or I'm sorry, not claim, uh, a crate motor. So you can run the crates, uh, a lot less horsepower, um, a lot smoother power band, and basically on a dry stick track, that is the way to go. So it balances out the field more. Yeah. It, Balances out. The problem is the, uh, the creep motor with all the bells and whistles, pumps, and all that. You're looking. I believe it's around seven thousand dollars. And in this motor, I got about three grand. So that's why I don't do it. I don't have the money for the startup crate. So I run what I have. This motor, I believe, we just freshened it up, and I think it has about six years on it. Two freshens up. So you know, a thousand bucks go through it, freshen up, put the rings and all that. So it, it's a very uh, economical way to go racing. Most expensive parts on this car are the fuel and the tires and the wheels. Obviously, uh, we're open wheeled. If we do uh, touch fenders, it usually costs us parts. You can see on my exhaust here, it's been nicked a few times. Um, we don't really have anything to protect our investment behind the body. So we try to stay off each other. It's almost like sprint car racing. Once you touch, every time you touch, it costs money. So we try to quit touching each other and uh, race cleanly. 
Other than that, um, real simple, uh, plain Jane IMCA car. There's nothing really special, nothing trick, completely legal, and uh, just a great class to come out with. Guys that want uh, the challenge of working on your car, it takes a lot of work, a lot of homework. Um, we could go around the back, the four bar setups, there's so many different changes. You can change bar angles, it'll uh, change the way you get off the corner. Um, if it's gonna push, if it isn't, you can change springs. There's about six or seven different things on this car that'll tighten it coming off the corner. So now, if you change one too far one way, you put too much spring in it, the bar angles don't help. And it, I mean, it's it's a science. It's my, I believe my 13th year running modifieds and I still feel like I'm a new guy. So and I try to help all the new guys uh, that are starting in this class just to keep them motivated. We've had a lot of people come in. It, it's a lot of work, a lot of homework. You just don't park and come out the next weekend. So I mean, prep time we get about uh, 20 hours between races it goes on scales every race um, to the next one and uh, check for bent parts so we don't really have too many DNFs with uh, parts failure we find them before I like to thank Tom Malloy at Trans Shoring's uh, been a family sponsor for my dad and myself for about 30 years a uh, great guy called him up say hey I'm gonna go racing my dad's been retired for a while we put uh, my dad's car and a car together, and he says he's on board, and when asked, all race with support of him also. So, special thanks to Tom Malloy over there at Trans Shoring in Corona. Uh, we also have, we brought an asphalt guy over, Steve Teets, out of Ramona. Uh, STR race cars, fastest modified probably on the West Coast, easily the West Coast, probably the nation. Um, he's runs the Lucas series. We uh, ran one of his cars for about uh, six, seven races. Well, I got him in on the dirt track shocks. Um, does a great job. The guy knows shocks like no tomorrow. Tell him what you want on your valving and uh, he can make it happen. This guy is one of the best on Bilstein shocks uh, known nationwide. Uh, we also have Bob Menthorne who's owned my dad's race cars for probably about 40 years now. Um, we pit out his shop and uh, used to be an old Southwest tour shop. Um, fully, basically machinery for everything. Uh, benders, lays, everything. So we're very fortunate. We make all our own bodies, all our own parts. Um, Dale Underwood, Kevin Hawkins, everyone comes over, we use his tools, so a great supporter of him and, and racing also. Uh, without him, a lot of us couldn't even put these bodies together, and so i like to thank him too. And my crew, uh, John Vinson and uh, Tom Shipley, they've also were on my dad's crew 20, 30 years ago, so we, it's, a, it's a small knit family. So we're all still racing and having fun, and uh, when we stop having fun, we park the car and you know, get our minds back together and we go back racing again. So, but I like to thank uh, for everyone coming out. Thank you.